Beloved soul, it's Maylina. So you guys, uh, this is uh, pop-up love. Uh, we want to know um, where is this relationship taking you guys? So what's up on your person's mind right now? Um, right this minute, okay? <laughs> so, and it, you know, we already started because I was actually... Um, Taking the cards out of the box, the light sears to row, and these two cards fell on the floor. And um, I, I was like, well, well, then I'll take you, <laughs> okay? So, uh, and now I'll shuffle the rest, all right? Yeah, we're still uh, having Christmas in my house, as you can see. Um, I, I do have my Christmas tree right in my back. It's right behind me. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, <laughs> but I, I moved it a little bit. I do, did a, a reading the other day, uh, a very late night. And I was like, well, um, <laughs> it's sort of... Uh, pinched me a little bit because I didn't move it before I started the reading, you know, so it was like, mm, all right, <laughs> all right, so here we go, I think, yeah, I think, let's see, let's see, yeah, it's a pretty large Christmas tree uh, compared to the size of my living room, <laughs> okay, so, um, but um, we gotta have it, right? <clears throat> My kids are uh, coming to my house on the 20, 23rd and then my family is coming and we're going to have a Christmas Eve uh, that night because they're leaving um, to go to their father's house on the 24th. So this is a new thing for me, uh, di divorcee, Christmassy. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. Oh my God, we have two of cups. Oh my God, you guys. And the Queen of Cups. You should have seen how they just fell to the floor like poof, like this. They fell in the air and then down onto the floor, you guys. And the Ace of Cups. What? Is someone, um, I don't know, in love with... And Temperance? Someone's really in love with you this Christmas time. Ace of Wands, we have two Aces here, and Seven of Wands, and Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Oh my God, I, I feel the energy is coming into me. I feel so, uh, um, I don't know how to say it. It's like when you're really obsessing about someone that you're really in love with, um, and hoping and waiting and um, almost can't take the waiting. <laughs> That's an energy I'm, I'm getting here from this person. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. All right. So it's like I'm, I'm getting, it's just, it's, Perhaps it hasn't happened quite yet. It's happening soon. Okay. And they are planning. I really am getting that they are... Um, okay, so what I'm hearing, and I have to channel this, I'm... Um, I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't ready for you to enter my life like that. And I'm... I, I was... Uh, actually, I've been a little, um, <sighs> standoffish because, uh, I, I never did expect you and I, I, I didn't feel ready actually when we first met and I'm now, I just can't ignore the fact that you seem to me to be the most beautiful divine feminine that I've ever met you are just so 
gorgeous and beautiful, but you also have such soul and so much love inside of you. You have so much to give and you give so much to the world. I think you are or have potential to be the best mother in the world um, and the best partner. And um, I'm so attracted to, to the way you look. I'm so attracted to the way you think. Um, and if I, I'm sort of uh, see, seem a little standoffish, it's because um, I'm just really um, trying to align myself to the fact that I can't ignore you in my life or I want you in my life. And that made me a little bit scared because I was like, wow, why are you coming right now? Because now I was definitely not looking for anything. I definitely, definitely was, you know, wanting to be alone. I wanted to be, have a pause in my life. I wanted to just take a break. <laughs> but there you come and I'm like, ah, ah, hmm. uh, am I really ready to go there right now? And, and I'm hearing a lot of responsibilities. They have a lot of responsibilities. I'm hearing children for some of them. Um, and... Uh, that they're also having to think about their reactions uh, concerning a new divine feminine in their life. That's for some of you. Um, wow, I feel that they are very mesmerized with you, very uh, taken by you. Okay. Um, and they're trying to uh, find uh, some bit balance um, within themselves before they step into this relationship with you. Because they're like, I want to come in right. And, and when I first met you, I didn't feel at all that I was there. I was ready. I was just not looking at all for anyone, anything. But suddenly, it's like they are... But they can't ignore you. They just can't. Okay. Um, so when they set boundaries with this seven of wands, it's like more like um, with the seven of pentacles that they're working on it. It's not like they're ghosting you or something like um, we need to be separated. It's not like that. It's like... Just let me um, tune into um, the emotions that I'm feeling and having towards you. Because I feel like I, I want to see you, I need to see you, and I will see you. I will with this Knight of Cups. Um, allow me to come in correct. Allow me to be completely ready for, for this. Um, because... Um, um, it's like it feels destined in this energy. It's like, like there's no way out anyway for them or for you, I feel like. It's like, wow, what a Christmas love <laughs> coming in here. It's like, wow, Whew, I'm hearing days, only days. It, can, it will take only a few days, okay? And this person is definitely, most definitely, someone who's brought on by the angels. We have Archangel Michael with temperance. We have um, opposites attract. We have soulmates. We have uh, even twin flames for some of you. But um, don't get hooked up on, you know, the linguistic about uh, those two. This is love. I feel it. I know it. It's, it you want this. No matter what it's called, okay? <laughs> so because there is feelings, there is deep feelings, there is teamwork, there is a new beginning in love, and there is um, passion, there is attractiveness, and romance, and um, chemistry, I'm hearing, okay? And someone who's wanting to work for this, and put in what the job, whatever it takes, um, okay. And I just feel their end goal, their goal is 
to really surprise you and come in and give you love. So whatever you are thinking or doubting and whatever you are waiting for or you feel ghosted or something, just remember that in their thoughts right now, it's they're planning how to come in in the best possible way. Okay? Trying to find the best vibe for the day where you meet or the best... Um, Feeling of being ready inside, okay? Um, but this relationship will take you far. I'm sure. I'm just sure it will. With the two of cups up here, this is a soulmate relationship. And the temperance in the other side, we have queen of cups and ace of cups and ace of wands and the knight of cups. We have all the love here. We have a new beginning of a new life here and we have someone who wants to work on it and come in as they are and come in as who they are um wanting you to also you know be who you are in this relationship um and i'm, I'm I, I don't like the word uh, setting boundaries because this is not the energy that's coming in it's more like this is me and this is you. And this is be who we are authentically. Okay? And that is also so, uh, some sort of a boundary, but it's still not. It's like authentic. Okay? Um, and there is freedom in that. Okay? So I'm definitely getting... This is a totally new love. It's um, something that is just arrived in your life and it's um it's not going to take long because this time it feels right it just feels right from the beginning and then there are just a few um well i think um adjustments like um, perhaps you haven't met physically and you just have to talk on online or something and before you meet up or um, well and then you, you decide on a day but then you know uh, one of your kids uh, come to stay or you know that it's like obstacles without being obstacles but just um, some pretty normal stuff uh, in your lives that sort of make you wait a, a, a one more day or a few more days or something like that. So it's like, just um, wait for it, you know? Um, I'm hearing the universe is preparing the perfect moment in time. Okay? So uh, sit back and uh, and some of you, uh, I feel like, have to let go of perhaps someone else. I'm channeling this. Um, if you are still, you know, hooked up with someone else or still longing for someone else, uh, you have to let that go now. Go and watch my uh, former video where I was um, <laughs> woken up at night by Divine Masculine <laughs> because um, there was a teaching about just letting go. Please stop the the habits of creating the same pattern so if you need that um, spirit is bringing in then go and watch that one okay um <laughs> because some something new is wanting to come in here and if there seems to be obstacles this is this could be the reason why um, you guys are not getting to the point where you meet up because there could be uh, something to be let go of inside of each of you. Uh, it doesn't have to be only you and or them. It could be either or you. But still, there is something that is like needs the last cut. Cut. So you can breathe and receive again. 
okay so that's what i'm getting <laughs> okay so um, and wh what we tend to do is when someone ghosts us or whatever we we tend to forget that we ourselves were actually hooked up in something else on someone else in the past energy uh, and that meant that they couldn't have access to you you know what I mean it's like <laughs> um, you can't have access to someone who is not free energy wise okay that's how energy works okay so um but i wouldn't come for the, this person i wouldn't hunt them because i do feel that they are the hunter and they want to hunt you okay they are wanting to come in and uh, set the record straight and tell you um, now i'm ready now to to get to know you so um, mind yourself um, and uh, <laughs> I'm hearing pause your messages like a few hours or a day or a night or something. Don't say anything. Don't respond <laughs> uh, because uh, this person will actually um, respond great to that uh, <laughs> um, behavior. <laughs> Okay, so um, um, yeah, but you should always be yourself and be authentically yourself, right? So, um, but this this person is doesn't want you to to uh, you know hunt them down. Then they will sort of withdraw and go into the seven of wands here, uh, set more boundaries and make up excuses and th that, you know, it's going to take a little while longer and a little while longer. <laughs> okay. So, um, so please uh, remember that. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, but this is good. This person has all kinds of feelings for you, uh, loving feelings. All right. So, well, this was what I had for you in this um, pop-up today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I wish you all the best um, for this beautiful um, Christmas. Some of us actually uh, do celebrate. <laughs> the rest of you, I wish you the best as well. All the best for everybody, you guys. See you later, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.